Hello my Pisces and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. I am Debbie and happy birthday season to you. Now, you know that today we've had some shifts. Now, this is on the 3rd, but we are reading for March 10th, 11th, and 12th. I'm sorry, so this is the 7th, but we're reading for March 10th, 11th, 12th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but we have shifted. Saturn has now come into your sign and is actually going to be there until February of 2026. So it's one of the longer um, times, okay? So it's going to be an interesting time. Let's see if you want to know more. I did speak about it. I have been speaking about it in my introductions, and I did speak about it again in my Watch the Money video. Also, too, that's where I tell you about me, the cards I use, and I also remind you that these are general readings and may or may not resonate. So, my Pisces, take what you like, leave the rest. So let's see what we've got here. So we have this 10th, 11th, 12th. So and there's something with your threes here. So we have a 3, 1, 0, 3, 1, 1, 1, 2. I mean, there's something with your threes. 1, 2, 3. I don't know. There, you know, just, there is just, maybe this is a countdown time for you. Um, you know, so 1, 2, 2. I'm just looking at your numbers. We're all we're all just kind of in that early phase, early, early, early times. Not quite sure where I'm going with any of it, but you're at your three ones, your three one two, three one one. There's something going on. Um, even though, even though, it's I shouldn't say it's quiet because it's really not quiet, but nothing stands out astrologically at this time. Things are still happening. So there's some quiet energies, but things are still happening. Things are brewing. Brewing under the surface? Not sure. Let's see. Higher power, Holy Spirit, what do you want to tell our Pisces, our dreamers, our ones that anything can be possible? Oh, but they do have to focus on what it is they want. Focus on what you want, my Pisces. You are the major, you know, manifestors. I tell you that all the time. You are also the end of the astrological cycle. So that in itself is interesting. You carry a lot on your shoulders. So let's see what we have here. This one's reversed, so it has strong energies. First card is the Ten of Water. I love some Ten of Water. Ten of Water, Ten of Cups. This is a transition. This is moving into. This is a completion of and moving into. So we have the one Zero. Again, there's something with your one, the, the three, the threes and the ones, but and also the twos. So one, two, three, not sure. But anyway, one's new beginning, uh, new start. Zero is God source energy. Water is your energy. It's the cup energy. And, you know, you had the, you know, in the overview, I had the walking away. And now we have this completion of something really very, very positive in your life. So we have, again, yours, we have cancer we have scorpio and we do have that south south node right the south node the hit the history the you know the the what have we what do we have to get cleaned up in scorpio right now um so you know there is that looking back a little bit but in order to you know in order to move forward it's to really clear out a lot of that history going on so the ten of water is about love is about family is about good energy it's about Things happening for the positive, something very exciting, something that you've been waiting for and wanting. You know, we do have, we have the t the couple here, um, looking. You know, sh this one, uh, this one, she looks a little bit, you know, kind of guarded, but this one looks kind of inviting. Uh, she kind of, yeah, she's kind of a little creepy too. And then we also have the child that's here, so not quite sure you know, where we're going with the faces, because sometimes sometimes the pictures will draw me in a little bit. Now I've lost some of my focus with this one here. But, um, you know, just this Ten of Water is about a, a happy life, a happy family. This is about celebrating the, the good things in your life, uh, being appreciative. Now, attitude of gratitude is more of that Ten of, of Earth energy, but you can also bring that into your Ten of Water, too. So this has a lot of love, this has a lot of caring, this has a lot of just, just being happy with where you're at in life. So, I like this. I love this energy. And remember, 
Family doesn't have to be your biological family. This is a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. Again, let's see if we can... No, not yet. Okay, let's see. So good energy, lots of possibilities for you, a lot of things opening up for you. This one's reversed. The Four of Fire. Now, the Four of Fire, Four has stability, organization, and leadership. Fire is your Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Remember, Jupiter and Venus still is in Aries. So it is a very positive energy for you. It's one that brings about a lot of hope. It brings about a lot of, even though it's not an eight, it brings about a lot of possibilities. The thing about the Four of Fire or the Four of Wands, it's completion. It's like you come to this point where now you're ready for that next step. So, you know, and I use, when I see the Four of Wands in the traditional tarot, I'll tell you, you know, you've been engaged, now is the wedding. You've been going to school, now is the graduation. You know, you've been, um, you know, you've been ready to move, you've been training, now is the promotion. So it's that sense of completion, and with that completion is that next step, is that next chapter coming for you. So it does have a good energy with this Ten of Four. It does feel like, you know, maybe there's something really, like, like you know, something is coming together for you, something you've been wanting. Kind of getting this sense for somebody out there that it's been years. It's been years, years. I mean, like, I'm kind of getting that Ten energy. Like, for Ten years you've been waiting, Ten years you've been striving, Ten years you've been struggling, and now it's working and coming together. So... Contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project. So there's a lot of contentment with this weekend, and I want you to just I want you to just bathe yourself in that energy. Bathe yourself in that love. Next card is the ace of air. So now we have a one, zero, or one. Four, one, one new beginning, new start. Air is that sword energy. It is our Aquarius, our Gemini, and it's our Libra. And you know that, you know, if you watch the one at the beginning, the, um, you know, Aquarius and Gemini have a lot of things going on right now. They're kind of, you know, um, they're coming, you know, Aquarius, Saturn has left. And so that in itself frees, us, uh, frees Aquarius quite a bit. Uh, you know, Pluto's about to go into Aquarius, so... Right now is a good place for Aquarius to be in, uh, the Aquarius energy, I should say. And that Mars going in, in our um, Gemini is really about pushing forward to another place, another step. The Ace of Swords, Ace of Air is about, you know, like, okay, we're, we're here, we're settled, we're at a good place, we've completed something, now it's time for me to think about my next step. Now it's time for those new ideas, whatever this is that you've completed, it opens up a new beginning for you. You know, so say that you have, um, say that you have started a business, okay? Maybe it was on the internet. Maybe it was a small business that, you know, that's just even smaller than that. And now it's like you've come to this point where you can now expand. You can now, you know, you have, you have, um, Oh, you know, it's kind of that seven of earth. You have planted the seeds. You are now ready for more. And this is a good weekend for that, to transition with that. Brilliant new ideas and inspirations. Seeing the truth of a situation, a challenging beginning. Because in some ways, the challenging beginning comes because in some ways, my Pisces, you'd like to just sit here and just bask a little bit. But this ace of air is saying, come on, there's more to do, more to come. So it's a new, it's an it, it's like this, this by this coming into this completion, it's like I said, it's opening the door for new um new ideas, new possibilities. Okay, let's see. With our John Holland, higher power, Holy Spirit, what else do you have for my wonderful Pisces and my Pisces who can be they're such you're such wonderful manifestors so all the th all of this is about you know total belief okay okay so let's see what we have here or my pisces 
Well, this is the same card as this. Okay, I know for whatever reason they put the fire card in this purpley blue. Um, so, but this is the same card. So there is a lot of validation. So remember, this one is about contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project. You know, and that's that's really what I take from this card. This is about foundation and achievements. This is you. You have set a very strong foundation. And again, this is that next, you know, a, a, a strong foundation that you can now catapult from, that you can now leapfrog through, over. Make sense? Okay. Good energy here. I love this energy. This validates this. Okay, let's see what we've got with the um, Angels of Abundance. Angels of Abundance, what else do you have for my Pisces? So believe in yourself. Enjoy, enjoy the people that care about you and that you care about. You have really come far. You have completed something. You know, there's a sense of completion here. And you've created something very strong, very foundational in many ways. Um, and now because of it, there's a new, there's new ideas, new choices, new, 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 new. So just, you know, think, put them out there. You know, I'm always about, um, you know, your thoughts. Your thoughts are, are powerful, my Pisces. Anyway, let's see what else we might have. Higher power, angels of abundance. What do you have for our Pisces? What words of encouragement, advice? Again, this one is reversed. Partnership. Okay, look at that. Partnership. Allow healthful, healthful, supportive partnerships into your personal life and career, and both parties benefit as a result. So I don't know. Are you take? Is this what this is about? Are you thinking of taking on a partner? You are receiving help from heaven, and from a person who brings needed skills and resources. Interesting. Is there a partner in your life? Now remember, this could be about work. It could be about. Oh, you know, about something more intimate with that, too. So, healthful and supportive partnerships. That's what you're looking for. Okay, let's see. What crystal or energy for my Pisces do we have? What do we have? You have created something wonderful, my Pisces. Um, there is a completion energy. There is a foundational energy. There, And because of that, you've got that next step, you know, next step energy around you new idea energy. Embrace that. Reversed. Pyrite. Good change of fortune. Success. Renewed focus. Leadership. Okay. I like that. So Saturn, you know, it's really, it's kind of getting you focused on your next step, and that's okay. All right. So my Pisces, please remember do the like, the share, the subscribe, the clicking on the bell. If you're watching on Rumble, then Rumble me because, you know, this is what supports the channel, and I appreciate you doing it so much. Most importantly, though, and as always, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.